Hey guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Vietnamese inspired rice flour crepes recipe. This might just be one of my favorite dinners, period. These are savory rice flour crepes. They get really crispy on the outside and they get served with fresh lettuce leaves, mint cilantro, and a punchy dipping sauce. It is just the best flavor combination. The crepes are naturally gluten-free and I'm also going to share how you can make them vegan. Now I think it's important to acknowledge that I have a French culinary background with absolutely zero authority on Vietnamese cooking. These are just my own interpretation, but I hope they inspire you to dive into Vietnamese cuisine, which happens to be one of my favorites. I'll include a link below to some of my favorite Vietnamese sources and chefs. All right, I can't wait to show you how to make these savory rice flour crepes. Let's head to the kitchen. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss out on any of my wholesome, family-friendly, and naturally gluten-free recipes. For the crepes, you'll need one cup of white rice flour. Make sure it's a stone ground rice flour, not a sweet rice flour. Next, add two tablespoons of arrowroot flour, or you can use cornstarch, kosher salt, and ground turmeric. The turmeric gives these crepes a really beautiful golden color. Whisk these together and then add one and a half cups of water and a half cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Just make sure that you give the coconut milk a good stir before adding. Last but not least, we're going to add two thinly sliced scallions and these are going to give the crepes a delicious flavor. Cover the bowl and let it sit for at least 30 minutes or you can refrigerate it overnight. Now for the dipping sauce. I'm starting with some water and coconut sugar or you could use regular sugar. Whisk these together until the sugar is dissolved and then add fresh lime juice, fish sauce or you can use tamari for a vegan version one thinly sliced garlic clove. If you love garlic, you can actually grate this in for more garlic flavor. And then a thinly sliced serrano chili pepper, or you can use a jalapeno. All right, that's done. Now back to the crepes. You'll need one pound of ground pork or ground turkey. Divide that into six equal portions. For a vegan version, you can use meat-free crumbles or tofu. Heat one tablespoon of neutral vegetable oil in a 10 inch nonstick skillet, then add one portion of the ground meat, season it with salt, and cook it over medium high until the meat is browned and cooked through. Give the crepe batter a good whisk, that rice flour tends to settle on the bottom. Then measure out a scant half cup of the batter and swirl it into the pan right over the pork. Sprinkle half of the crepe with bean sprouts. These are optional, but I love their flavor and texture. Then partially cover the pan and let the crepe cook until it is golden brown and crisp. Loosen the crepe with a thin spatula, then fold it over like an omelet and transfer it to a rack set inside a baking sheet. If the crepe tears or breaks, it's no big deal. We're actually going to tear them up to eat them anyway, so it doesn't matter what they look like. Continue on with the rest of the crepes, making sure that you oil the pan and whisk the batter between each crepe. The crepes do take a little bit of practice, but don't worry if the first couple don't turn out perfectly. They will still taste delicious no matter what they look like. After each batch, slide the pan into a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven to keep warm. You can do this up to one hour in advance. Serve the crepes with that dipping sauce we made, along with fresh mint leaves, cilantro sprigs, and lettuce leaves. Tear off a piece of that warm and crispy crepe. Tuck it into a cool and crunchy lettuce leaf with a few sprigs of those fresh herbs and dip it into that sweet and salty sauce. I can't think of a better flavor and texture combination. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about these savory Vietnamese inspired rice crepes. I also hope you feel inspired to dive deeper into Vietnamese cooking. I've included a link below to the full recipe with all of the measurements. I've also included a link to my website where you can find a ton of other dishes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.